like extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can use the create normal map feature and this is in Photoshop CC 2014.1. The 3D feature that comes with filter 3D and generate normal map can be used for other things other than just normal maps. So first thing to do I'm just going to create a duplicate layer a multiple of ones so layer and duplicate layer so click OK. I've set a shortcut up for that so I'll just quickly do that. D Okay, okay, D, okay, and D, okay, and D, okay. Right, so now I've got a couple of layers with all the same image. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go to the bottom one and I'm going to apply the right, filter, pixelate, and crystallize. Now I'm going to set it to quite large. Thing. And then I'm just going to go to the next one, do the same filter, pixelate, crystallize, just reduce it down a little bit, filter. Of course, you can't see them at the moment because, of course, I've got the uh, they're all layers. So, crystallize, reduce it down a bit, go to the next one, filter, pixelate, crystallize, filter. And then pixelate, crystallize, again keep reducing it down each time. And of course you could do the same sort of thing with other some of the other filters. Pixelate, crystallize, reduce it down, and now you've got the top one. So filter, pixelate, crystallize. Well now I'm just going to go through and apply the 3D normal map to each of those. That's Again, generate normal map. I can just obviously apply to those. Normal map. And they're all going to have the same normal map. Normal map. Normal map. And even that's quite an interesting effect with sort of a, a sort of unusual embossed crystallized effect. So I'm just going to go generate normal map. Right now, what I'm going to do is actually just go over here and difference for each of the layers. Normal difference. So you can create, now we probably can find out they've got the wrong number. I can obviously just delete a layer. It's just basically difference, difference, and obviously that's it. Okay, so there you have it. You've got a, an interesting, sort of unusual, scratchy kind of design. Of course, you don't have to, con you can actually go from there, you can go over to filter and say maybe filter galleries and apply another filter. So there's a sort of scratchy design that's there. And apply other effects. Maybe some actually worse than others to actually sort of create that. Or you can use glowing edge to create some interesting or bas relief to create a very, very scratchy design. So at that point, that's it. Hope you found this of interest that it's a normal map feature doesn't have to be just used for one thing.